Hey, hey, it's rod run time, and it's only Tuesday. Once the rods are here, and there are quite a few rods already here. I don't know nobody's come in yet, but I'm going to tell you what, because I know people watch this rerun. They are for sale signs on cars. There's cars riding around with for sale signs on them. I saw a Corvette go by just a little bit ago with for sale signs plastered all over it. Uh, there's some that's backed into the parking spots that uh, have the for sale signs where they're not facing the road. They're facing away from the road but parked, you know, next to the road. Got for sale signs on them. So they are for sale signs on these cars. Now, whether or not if it's legal or not, who knows? <laughs> hey, James. Hey, man. Hey, thanks for coming in. Hey, Angie. Saying hey to Jim and Tootsie. Hey, Thurston. Uh, Paisley says, good morning, honey. Good morning, dear. <laughs> good morning, honey. Good morning, dear. <laughs> hey, Diane. Saying hey to Jim and Tootsie and everybody. Uh, how's the signal, though? Well, I'm pretty much doing a test right now. Uh, I'm not going to be able to stay live too long because I have to get back to the campground. I have got plans that's made for me uh, tonight. I am at my honey hole, James. I am at the honey hole where I will be here Friday night and Saturday night for the live action. Everybody's saying the signal's great. Well, thank y'all. Everybody's uh, Angie saying hey to Leslie. Diane saying it's good. Leslie saying hey. I was worried. I think the wind must have done something to one of the towers, and that's the reason I couldn't go live Saturday. Because, I mean, they just as many people here as there was Saturday. Uh, James says, cool. Hey, Charlie. Hey, buddy. Hey, you got, well, I know. I know you're not living here anymore, but are you gonna be in town this weekend, Charlie? If you want, you don't have to answer that if you don't want to. I'm just curious if you're gonna come to the rod run. Me and Tootsie's doing good too, buddy. How are you and wifey doing? Hey, Jeremy. Hey, buddy. Uh, hey, Paul. I've got to go uh, down yonder, that you alls. <laughs> or I've got, I've, uh, I've got to get down yonder uh, where you alls are at. I think that's what he's meaning. Yeah, I'm here. Uh, I'm, I'm going to be at Fantasy Golf as far as that's where I'm at right now. I'm actually a little bit down from Woody. Uh, but right here, like right here where I'm at is where the party crowd's going to be if, if they're back this year. I won't know till Friday night, though. Because Thursday night, I'm going to be looking at cars. There's a group of us getting together for Thursday night, and we're going to ride around and look at all the cars on the golf cart and electric bikes and whatever everybody's bringing. Uh, Leslie says, less than 20 days, Jeff. I know it, Leslie. It's counting down. I'm ready for y'all. Uh, Charlie says, no, sir, I'm taking my Cadillac to a car show this Saturday in Winchester. Okay. I knew you was up in Virginia, uh, but I, that's why I didn't tell it, you know, but you told it, so. Uh, but I didn't know if he was going to be down here or not, Charlie. But it's good, uh, good seeing you coming in and chatting. I appreciate that. But the campgrounds had me busy the past couple days. Not work-wise, just hanging out and uh, chilling and all that. I mean, last night there was a crowd of us at this one crowd's camper, and we stood around and talked for a couple hours. I hadn't. Uh, I appreciate that, Charlie. I hadn't even been on VR or nothing. Poor old Fred's been wanting me to fish, and I just hadn't had time to get on VR and fish or anything. And of course, Blaine's on his cruise. Uh, but Fred's catching fish left and right, though, from what he's told me. He, he caught him another great white shark. 
And then I think he said he got some more sharks last night. Because by the time I got to the camper, he was already done fishing. And then, of course, I went on to bed. Uh, Paul says, where's a good bar there for chicks? I have no idea, Paul, if you want to know the honest truth. Uh, Dry Creek was telling me about that one place up in Sevierville. I've done forgot the name of it. Uh, Leslie, if you remember what she said it was, it's that one, it's like right smack middle in town, uh, Paul, right there in Sevierville. Uh, they, they had entertainment going on that night that I was up there. Uh, Leslie says, you're having fun in Pigeon Forge and beautiful, in the beautiful weather. That's what you're supposed to be doing. You can't do VR anytime. That's right, Leslie. Yeah, I know. I, and that's the same way with YouTube. Y'all know it. When I'm here, you know, I, I, I don't do YouTube as much or, you know, or I don't commit to ever Tuesday night. And that's the reason I'm early today because I've got plans at 7 o'clock. Uh, back at the campground. I got invited to, to go do something. So that's what I'm doing tonight, which, you know, I wasn't planning on going live anyway tonight. But with not getting that signal Saturday, that's why I'm live right now. I just, I want to make sure that everything hopefully is going to be good to go for Friday night and Saturday night. Uh, James says, hey, Jeff, I can't quite make it out. What's that store across the street. Oh, that's the uh, Country Bears. They finally got, they finally got the uh, sign put up right there next to the road. I'll zoom in where you can see it, uh, James, for you right there. It's Country Bears. Yeah, it's yeah, they just it all out. Let me fix my mirror back. Uh, I see. Uh, let me get back here. And then, hey, Dry Creek, hey, Rob Denise. I bet y'all are getting excited. <laughs> I bet y'all are getting excited. Uh, Leslie says, that's right. You do what you want. Don't worry about what other people want except me. Worry about me. I'm kidding. <laughs> Leslie. <laughs> Leslie likes giving me a hard time. Uh, Leslie saying, hey, to Rob Denise. Paul says, uh, I must find out the name of the singles bar. What side of the street is it on downtown? Hey, Dry Creek's in here now. Dry Creek. That bar that I asked y'all about uh, up there in Sevierville that night that I was live. What was the name of that place, uh, Rob Denise? Uh, Paul, Jeff's Vacation Station TV's very first subscriber. He's in here asking. And everybody's saying hey to everybody right now. Hey, Landa. says Jeff and Tootsie, you hot ticket. You're on early. Nice surprise. Well, that's because I'm doing a kind of a test live uh, because where I didn't, I couldn't get a signal Saturday. And I think it's just because that all that wind that we had must have done something to a cell tower. So they must have got it fixed. Uh, hold on, that jumped on me. Uh, James, uh, you're welcome, James. Dry Creek saying hey to James. Hey, Ronnie, saying hello, Jeff and Tootsie. Angie saying hey to everybody. Dry Creek saying hey, Linda saying hey. Uh, okay, there you go, uh, Paul. It's called Pinchies. That's the name of the, the bar. That looked like a pretty good place. I haven't been to it yet, Paul and Rob and Denise. I still haven't made it there yet. Uh, but hopefully one weekend when I don't have nothing going on, uh, I might venture up there and check it out and just see what it's like. Uh, let me see if it, okay, it didn't jump. Uh, everybody's saying hey to everybody right now. Uh, okay, Dry Creek saying it's not a singles bar, it's just a new restaurant slash bar. Okay, well, we appreciate the info, Rob and Denise, because I didn't know that either. I just knew it looked like a pretty cool hangout. Uh, I guess Gatlin, Paul, I guess Gatlinburg would be maybe where the single bars are at. I, I know Pigeon Forge don't have any, uh, at least not that I know of. Uh, Angie says, Doing great, Linda. How are you? Paul says, thank you. I'll try it someday. Linda says, Angie, I'm enjoying the nice weather here in Massachusetts. Yeah, it's been nice here. There goes a rod. Uh, tra a trader queen. Ain't that right, Rob? I want a trader queen. <laughs> but yeah, like I was saying, uh, Dry Creek says it's a nice place. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna check it out, uh, Dry Creek, and I still gotta get to y'all's store. I still got that to do, which I still got time. 
because uh, I'm after this weekend Christmas is over with <laughs> uh, and then they said yeah better better chance to meet someone would be in Gatlinburg see I knew they'd know and Angie says it's nice in Ohio too I appreciate all y'all coming in I, I'm surprised I got as many y'all in here because I knew I'm nowhere near my normal time but like I say though I got to get back uh, I gotta get back to the campground by seven uh, because I've been invited. Uh, Dry Creek says, not saying it would be someone you for sure want to meet, but you'll meet some people. <laughs> right I'm right there with you, Rob Denise. There, there goes one. I, I think he was here. I think he's repainted that thing. That's the same one, but I think he's put a different paint job on that one that just went by. Uh, James says, Dry Creek, how's the new store going? And hey, Virginia, she's saying hey to everybody. Uh, so yeah, their uh, rods are definitely here. They are, they have came in full force, especially today. Uh, there's a few that's even rolled into the campground. Hey, Rob, there's a 1938, uh, Hang on, I'm having a brain fart because it's not a Ford and it's not a Chevy. Uh, it's a 1938 Harvester. A 1938 uh, Harvester that's staying in my campground. I think he's out and about here somewhere right now because he wasn't there when I left just a little bit ago. Uh, but I'm gonna try to snap a picture of it and get a picture of that. Uh, the other one that's uh, staying at the campground or that's here right now, uh, he's got his vehicle on up the road here uh, but uh, the rest of them don't come till Thursday Thursday's our big day as far as we're over a hundreds coming in at one time and we're gonna be completely full come uh, Thursday oh Virginia tell your husband uh, happy birthday for me I hope he's had a good birthday today uh, Dry Creek says it's picking up, James, with the crowd starting to pick pick up. And everybody's going, Virginia! And hey, there's Blaine. Hey, hey, from Amber Cove, Dominican Republic, which we just started sailing away. There you go. I saw where you was there uh, on Facebook, Blaine. I hope you guys are having fun. I hope y'all are having a blast, especially with Scott and Amber. And, uh, and then there's where Dry Creek was letting James know that the uh, you know, the traffic starting to pick up as far as at their store and everything. And uh, James says, well, that's good, Dry Creek. I haven't been on much lately, so I kind of lost out of all the information. I wish all the best with it. And uh, Dry Creek says, you tell him happy birthday, Virginia. And yeah, Har Harvest International. That's right, Charlie. It's, a it's red and black. It's nice. It's nice. He just he just rolled in today, and the darn trailer that it's in is probably worth as much, if not more, than that truck. <laughs> That's what's crazy. And Virginia's saying, "Hey, Linda, saying happy birthday." James says, "You're welcome, Dry Creek." Angie's saying happy birthday, and uh, hey to Blaine. Blaine says we're having fun waiting on Amber. Of course, just 15 minutes late. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's, that's Amber for you, Scott. Virginia says, thanks, everyone. He's full of fried chicken and cherry pie. Ooh, so you you cook fried chicken and cherry pie for dessert. Man, that Virginia, she always makes us hungry. I'm just glad I just got done eating because I had to eat early since I got plans here in a little bit. Uh, Blaine's saying, hey, Angie's saying that her brother's on a cruise. Uh, talking to Blaine. Uh, Rob says there isn't anything wrong with that, Virginia. That's right. I agree with Rob there. And Blaine says, which one, Angie? And Charlie says, love those trucks, the internationals. Yeah. I, uh, you know, because I couldn't see it real good till I rode around behind. And then I knew, I knew uh, the truck. I just didn't know what the year was. And so I had to ask him what the year was. And he says the 38, because I was guessing 40. I was guessing 40. Blaine says awesome, because uh, Angie said she's on the Carnival Conquest. 
am uh so yeah uh i'm just glad i'm getting a signal though i'm glad i'm glad y'all y'all told me it's looking good and clear let's just keep our fingers crossed that it stays like this for friday night and saturday night because like i say pretty much where i'm at right now if the party crowd shows up this is where they're they're normally at they're in between woody the mailbox because uh, Rob, right from Dry Creek Beard Care, he's the one that named the mailbox. So, hey, Rob, while I got you in here, if you're still in here, uh, we got to name this trash can. What's a good name for the trash can? I, I was sitting there thinking of, uh, 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 tri like Trish the, Trish the, tr uh, Trish the tr uh, trash can. Does that, I don't know if that even sounds worth a crap. Oh, thank you, James. And Virginia says, ancient Blaine. And Leslie says, well, I'm going to the tanning bed so I can, so I can stay darker than you. Okay, Leslie. Well, miss out on the show. Hey, here comes a good one, Rob. That's nice. Uh, yeah, Leslie's trying to, she's trying to stay darker than me right now, but. She don't realize though that I, I laid out just a little bit longer today, so I'm definitely gonna start gaining on her. Uh, okay, show them the trash can, <laughs> all right. And then, uh, or Shane, maybe it's maybe it's Shane, Sean. Uh, I think it's Sean. Uh, Leslie, uh, Linda says, Leslie, enjoy your me time. Uh, there you go, Leslie. Amanda the trash can. <laughs> well, I was trying to not name it somebody that comes on my show. <laughs> Leslie, good Lord. Uh, Thurston says, uh, shop and drop. That's a good one. That's a good one. I'm waiting to see what, uh, well, I know they said uh, Sean or, or Shane uh, Dry Creek did. Or I think Sean. I think it's Sean. Uh, Blaine says, Virginia, I know that's a blessing, though. And uh, Virginia's thinking Linda. Leslie goes, Brat. <laughs> Virginia's saying, Hey, Leslie. Leslie says, Thanks, Linda. And she's saying, Hey. And then Leslie says, It's one of those reasons you love me, Jeff. I know it. I know it, Leslie. Because we all know which Amanda you're talking about. <laughs> Bless Amanda's heart. She's been pretty decent here the last few lives, though. She told us where she works, and she hadn't really talked any crazy stuff about like flying cows or or jumping fish or whatever it is. <laughs> uh, Thurston says SpongeBob, so we can call that trash can SpongeBob. We'll come up with something. Lord, there's a darn limo. Uh, that's not a Hummer. I don't think that's a. GMC Suburban, a stretched out GMC Suburban. Jeez. Charlie says the sea dumpster. Okay, the sea dumpster. That's pretty good too. Hey, I have to Rob Denise says to Shane, Amanda, either fits. <laughs> there you go. Or Sean. I try to figure out how, I mean, because I think you could mean that either way. I know Sean's SH, so it has to be Shane. Or, well, Shane's SH too, though, ain't it? And I might not be, I might not even be saying that name right. <laughs> ah, Lord have mercy. Yeah, but geez, like the dry creek. Leslie's, uh, uh, Leslie says, Rob Denise knows. <laughs> and then they went, yep. <laughs> Oh, okay. Got you, Leslie. I'm with you now. Yeah, okay, got you. I'm with y'all now. That's what was throwing me. Hell, I didn't know how he spelled his first name. <laughs> I think he's live in Pigeon Forge right now. I think I've seen it come across my phone. Boy, that right there's nice. Oh, we got a helicopter landing right here. Hold on. We got some kind of helicopter landing right here. Hang on. Y'all see that? I don't know what that's all about. It must be somebody with some big time money. Can't see it now. 
And Dry Creek says, run. <laughs> I have no idea where he's at. I haven't even seen him. Uh, Blaine says, Sean is someone who picks up trash at National Gotcha. And then that's where Dry Creek said, run. <laughs> I don't know if he's still alive or not. I just I saw where it said he was live at Pigeon Forge. So I figured he's showing the, the rods that are in town. But yeah, like I said, the, there's some that's got for sale signs. And like I said, that Corvette, right when I got here to, to eat, uh, there's a Corvette that had for sale sign plastered all around it, but they were riding. So I know they can't get in trouble about that because they're riding. There ain't no law as far as being out on the road riding with for sale signs. And then I guess the other way they're gonna try to trick them is they're gonna have their cars backed into the spots and the for sale signs are gonna be facing towards the buildings because I saw a few that had done it that way. So who knows? But I mean, the government controls us enough as it is. I mean, good Lord, one of these days, something's gonna give. I mean, we're already getting controlled as it is, uh, controlled enough as it is. Uh, Linda says, Jeff, do you have two? Yes, yeah, she's right here beside me. She's laying right here beside me in the seat, actually. Uh, Blaine says, that's probably Larry. He's making his entrance. <laughs> Are you talking about the trash can, Blaine? <laughs> Dry Creek says, exactly. Yeah, and I think Dry Creek's entering what I was talking about. Saying exactly. Because, I mean, that's the darn truth, boys. We're already getting controlled enough as it is. I mean, don't let one bad apple ruin it for everybody. I mean... The majority of people that's here knows how this is going to be, knows what's going to happen, and they come to have a good time. Who gives a rat's butt if they're selling cars out here on the parkway or not? Who cares? What does it matter? <laughs> I mean, I get that some of these businesses get hurt by this because it takes up the parking and, and, and creates the traffic headaches. I get that. But I mean, until... They either stop it all together, you just got to plan on all this going to happen and just survive the three days and get over it. I mean, it's just like anything else. Jeez, I mean, you go to Dollywood and you go on a crowded day and you're standing in line for two hours to ride a steak and roller coaster, what the hell's the difference? You know, excuse my language. Uh, Charlie says, communist U.S. coming. <laughs> I know what Charlie Blaine says, no, helicopter, okay. Uh, Rob and Denise says it's two weekends out. Of, yeah, yeah, and it's only two two times out of the year. You know, a week at the most, and of course today's Tuesday, and the traffic really ain't bad at all. And there's plenty of rods here. And, and y'all see the traffic. Now tomorrow will be a different story. And Thursday will definitely be. But, but worst case scenario, you're looking at a week at the most because they didn't get here. You know, a few rolled in over the weekend. There's one or two that came last week. But, you know, a handful was here by the weekend, but it's mainly starting to fill up now. Uh, so, I mean, the worst you're looking at is, is a week. Uh, let me get caught up to you guys. Uh, and right, Dry Creek says, that's it. And then uh, Blaine says, exactly, Rob Denise. And then Charlie says, they say in eight years there's going to be no more gas cars loud on the road well good luck with that because you've got all these older cars that you know nobody's going to convert them to electric even though there's some people have done that as far as these shows i watch on tv other than that, that that's what it's going to take to get rid of the, the gas cars and they're going to have to they're going to have to make these electric vehicles where they can pull campers and stuff and be able to go more than 100 feet before you got a damn pull over and charge. <laughs> so I'm not gonna get started on that. Well, that jumped on me. Uh, Linda says, Jeff, you should deal with the liberals here. Uh, yeah, I know it. Bless your heart, Linda. Blaine says, preach, Jeff. Come on now, true. <laughs> hey, Stacy. Hey, buddy. Blaine says, Charlie, won't ever happen. And Charlie says, I hope not, buddy. And hey, Natalie. Hey, how's Natalie doing? Uh, saying, hey, folks, hope everyone's doing well. Uh, Stacy says, can't wait till the weekend. 
and Virginia says, then if I'm around, I'll walk. Hey, I, 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 we might all be right there with you, Virginia. Or, well, or worst case scenario, we'll, we'll get us an electric bike or something, because I, I think they'll go like 70 miles or something on the charge. <laughs> Uh, Blaine says truckers can't afford non-diesel because they have to be placed and can't stop to charge. That's right. That's right. So, I mean, how, I mean, I just, I think they're just trying to get more people to buy the electric cars since it's on the decline as far as the sales of them. Not many people's buying them like it was right there at first because everybody's seeing the daylight or seeing the light, I guess, if you want to put it that way. Uh, Dry Creek says we would have to stop halfway to charge coming and going from there. Right. I know it. And then why would y'all want to do that? And hell, and, and, and when you're having to stop and charge, you might as well figure on plan on spending the night at where you're having to stop. Because depending on how fast it charges, I've heard sometimes it can take six, eight hours. Uh, they, uh, Linda's saying, uh, laughing in with Virginia. And Leslie says, that's so stupid. I, oh, yeah. And Blaine says, we are just biding our time. Come on, November. Right. Right. And it is 86 degrees here, everybody. It is warm. And I was at the pool today. Sun didn't really come out till eh, 2 o'clock, somewhere around in there. So I hit the pool for a little while. And then... Uh, I got my table out, so I'm ready to cook in the morning. I went and got groceries a little while ago. Uh, got my table fixed because my drain line on my table, I guess where it sat outside for dang near seven months, the, uh, the, the drain hose, whatever you want to call it, was one of those retractable type hoses, flex hose, but it, it retracted. Uh, trying to think of a word of that but anyhow where you could pull it stretch it and then of course collapse it back together well that I went to put it up in November and that thing disintegrated I mean just disintegrated into my hand just brittle so I had to go buy a new drain line today and got that and got that all fixed and then went and got groceries so I've done a little bit today got the uh, golf cart washed yesterday because I've got uh we're gonna take it Thursday night. Uh, let's see. Leslie says, for the love of God Almighty, Blaine, I pray you're correct. And Charlie says, junk electric cars, no good gas forever, right? And Leslie says, their big security SUVs are not electric. Such a, that's right, Natalie, you're right, Natalie. You are definitely right. I mean, you know, if there's ever have whatever president we have, if the motorcade and all that became all electric, then it might would change maybe some people's minds or something. But you know that ain't gonna happen. It's not gonna happen. At least I don't think, if it does, it won't be in our lifetime. Uh, Leslie says, oops, I was supposed to be gone. Yeah, you're fine, Leslie. You lay there in the tanning bed and chat with us. <laughs> we just won't picture it. We just we just won't picture it. <laughs> Dry Creek says, I was gonna say Leslie. <laughs> Blake says, Leslie, I don't see it being close. The court cases are helping him uh, by the day. Yeah. Yeah, who knows, Blaine? Because now they're coming out with reports saying it's it's flipped and that the other fool's ahead of him. So who knows what to believe. Uh, but I, I don't pay attention to the news no more because hell they were they were wrong with uh, Hillary I mean that right there just proved to us how much the news knew uh, Leslie says uh, Larry's driving me there so I'm still here okay and hey John Esper and then dry Creek goes oh and then laughing at uh, look look that one that I told you it's got to read the paint job was different. It had a for sale sign in the side of it. I happened to see it that time. The one that just went by. Uh, John Esper saying, good evening to everybody in chat from Columbus, Ohio. Yeah, me and John hung out uh, two days ago at the Goat Coaster. Uh, 
For the ones that don't know, because we, uh, I posted a picture on Facebook, so I know most of y'all in here already knew that and seen that and knew that he is here in Pigeon Forge. But he's back home now. We had, we had a pretty good time there hanging out. Uh, let's see, uh, no, 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 Woody's, Woody's down, down to the left of me, John. That's, uh, we're trying to come up with a name of the trash can here. We're, I think we're calling it, uh, Sean the Trash Can. I think it's the name, we're calling it that one, or there was a couple other good ones. Uh, let's see, uh, Dry Creek goes, Larry! <laughs> so, hey, Larry, I'm driving your wife to the... Uh, tanning bed and Leslie says you'll picture it you big liar. No, I won't either Leslie <laughs> I won't either uh, Blank says I guess Air Force One will go electric. Yeah. Yeah, well, now wouldn't that be something? Air Force One going electric? <laughs> John says and then there's where I was answering John and Leslie says I told him you said hey Rob and Denise and Linda says Jeff wants to know if if we got the full Monty going on, Leslie. <laughs> no, no, don't want to know. Uh, Dry Creek sending love to Leslie. Hey, DP Mart, saying hey to Jeff and Tootsie in chat. Can't stay long, just one. Yeah, I'm not gonna be on too long either, DP. I've got to get back to the campground in less than an hour. Uh, but I'll take y'all for a ride on the way to the campground so that way you can see some of the cars that's already here. Uh, John says, I got to hang out with the star of the show. Yeah, John got to hang out with Tootsie. He had Tootsie in his lap. And then he had, he had women coming up to him with Tootsie in his lap. That's a true story. John will tell you. Leslie's laughing. Dry Creek's uh, saying hey to DP Mart. Leslie says, I don't know what a full Monty means, but I'm a, but I'm going commando. <laughs> Jeez. Blaine says, well, y'all be good headed to dinner with the Hicks. Hey, tell uh, uh, Scott and Amber that me and Tootsie and all of us in here, we said hello. That the YouTube family said hello. And Dry Creek saying bye to Blaine. Hey, Pam. She's saying hey. DP saying hey. And I'm caught up there. Linda saying hey to Leslie. Same thing. Talking about the full Monty and Commando. I knew what full Monty meant. And the Broncos are in town too, but they're in Townsend. I think it's the same weekend as Rod running. I don't know if that's ever happened. Did y'all know that, Rob and Denise? That the Broncos are this weekend also in Townsend? And at least that's what I got told, because I've been seeing Broncos. Uh, Virginia says, Blaine, tell Scott and Amber. She said, hey. Uh, and Dry Creek saying hey to Pam, <coughs> excuse me, and Leslie's laughing at Linda. And yeah, we knew what you meant, Virginia. Hey, Ed, saying hey to Jeff and Tootsie, what's going on? Now, just making sure I'm, <coughs> excuse me. Yeah, look at this thing coming by right here. He's changed the, he's got a big old machine gun on top of that thing. And, uh, but no, I'm just, I'm making sure that I can get my signal here, Ed. That's why I went live. Uh, before I get tied up here in just a little bit because I got to head back to the campground. Uh, no, I won't, Ed. I, uh, that's why I'm live right now. I'm doing my test run right now since I couldn't get a signal here Saturday morning. I, I was getting paranoid. Oh, boy, he lit them up. It's already started early, boys. Hey, James, it started early. They're already doing burnouts. <laughs> Uh, no, Ed, I'm, I'm just here making sure to see if I've got my signal back and everybody's, everybody's told me that it's looking good. So, fingers crossed that everything stays like it is right now for Friday night and Saturday night. Right there is the one that just did the burnout. The one that just went by. That blue Nova. Uh, let's see, where am I at? There's where I was answering Ed. Hey, Diamondback. Says, I'm in. Been gone all day since 6 a.m. Wow, you've had a long day, Diamondback. Uh, John says, I was talking to somebody Monday night and had a Bronco, and he was telling me that they were having Bronco convention on Tuesday. Okay, so that's today then. And Linda says, I'm sorry if I didn't say hi to all in the chat. Uh, senior moment. Oh, you're fine, Linda. 
it says, okay, I guess we'll just have to catch your uh, live again at some other time. Yeah, I haven't been live too. I've only been live 35 minutes right now. I mean, I'm going to stay on till right before seven. I just, I got to be back at the campground at seven. I've got, I've got plans uh, tonight. Uh, Virginia says, Dry Creek, uh, Dry Creek was Rob's birthday recently. And, okay, yeah. I knew, I thought, so it's, it's happening right now until this weekend in Townsend. So I appreciate that, Dry Creek. Thanks for letting me know on that. Well, it kind of surprised me. Cause I was like, man, the Broncos are gonna be the same time as Rob Run, but technically they're they're a day. Or it's, I guess they start tomorrow, and then they'll be done Saturday. And of course, Rod Run's done Sunday, so it's a, they're a day off from each other. And Ed says, Jeff, me and my wife is trying to watch these four dogs. We've done two yesterday. So far down one today, have one more to go. Okay. Uh, Natalie says, bring your bring your thongs this weekend, Jeff. No, I'm not bringing the thongs. I'm gonna try to bring some beads. <laughs> I'm gonna try to bring some beads, Natalie. <laughs> uh, and Dry Creek says, last Monday, Virginia. And Linda's saying, hey, to Dry Creek. Ed says, I meant uh, wash, not watch. Okay. Well, I was the one because I, I was trying to depict that, Ed. I, uh, so I'm, I'm with you now. I know what you're meaning now. Uh, John says, good evening to everybody in chat. And Virginia says, that's what I thought. Happy belated birthday, Rob. And there's Teresa. And, that, and Tommy might be in here, too. I don't know if he's went to work yet or not. That, is this both of y'all? Uh, Teresa, TME TV? Uh, they're out running around. Saying, hey, out running around. And Dry Creek says, he says, thank you, Virginia. And I'm caught up at the moment. So at least we got, uh, at least I got my signal back. The only thing I can figure out what went wrong Saturday is there had to have been a cell tower being down. That's the only thing I can figure out because I did the parade live last year. Uh, but I mean, y'all really didn't miss much. The only thing that I saw that was new in it was uh, there was a few more tractors and the dig zone had a float in it. Uh, but it was a lot shorter parade though also. I mean, it lasted 30 minutes and it was done. Uh, Margaritaville Campground wasn't in it. Uh, Pigeon Forge RV Landing wasn't in it. Uh, and a couple other, a couple of other notch places I mean not, and I'm not even talking about campgrounds I'm talking about you know restaurants and and popular places or whatever there's a lot of them that, that wasn't in it this year for some reason uh, yeah yeah John I did uh, go swimming again today uh, I, I, I laid out a little bit longer today than I did okay so we just got treat to me TV Teresa because Tommy's at work now and everybody's saying hey to TME TV and Virginia. Uh, hey, Erica. Now, why is Erica? I know I thought I. Uh, hang on a minute. Because she's come in quite a few times. All right. Hey, Erica, you should have the uh, Blue Ranch. I don't know why. I thought I'd already gave you the Blue Ranch, but it's not showing you up in blue. Uh, but you got it now, though. Uh, saying, hey, Jeff and Tootsie, I was coming this weekend in my 62 Impala, but have brake issues. Maybe next time. Just can't fix them this week. Uh, stuff happens. I know what you're meaning right there. <laughs> it happens. <laughs> With an S. Uh, well, I hate that, Erica. Uh, dang, I hate that. Because that's right, I remember you telling me about that now, too. Uh, Angie saying hey to uh, Tom and Teresa. John says you don't have uh, half a million people all at the same spot yet either. What are you talking about? Yeah, I do too. They're, the cars are lined up down through here, John. And they, they's just as many in town right now as what they was Saturday. But like I said, though, fingers crossed, 
that everything's going to go good uh, Friday night and Saturday night. You know, for all of us that's going to be here. You know, I hope, I hope we're all able to get a signal like we've been doing the past three or four years. Uh, Linda's talking to Diamondback. Virginia saying hey. Teresa, TME TV saying hey. Uh, Ed says, hey Jeff, me and my wife went to the swimming pool and I thought I would uh, sneak me a peeking down on the uh, sneak me a pee and down on the deep end about that time the lifeguard hollered at me and scared me so bad I almost fell. <laughs> I how mercy Ed. Hey, that's why when you go to these pools you'll see the signs that'll say welcome to our O, you know, O-O-L. Oops, we left the P out. We hope you will too. I remember we had a sign that said that when we had a pool at my house when I was growing up. Uh, Teresa says they should let you and Tootsie be the in the parade. We need to do a YouTube float uh, in the next in next year's parade. There you go. That, that's that's actually not a bad idea, uh, TME TV Teresa. To get all of us YouTubers together and do uh, float that uh, says YouTube family. Uh, oh, look, Virginia's got that same sign I was talking about. She says, we have that sign, Jeb. John says, it got up to 82 here today. It is 86 right now uh, in Pigeon Forge. And Teresa says, got to run in Target real quick. Be right. That's fine, Teresa. You go do what you need to do. You don't have to stay on here. Everybody, everybody knows that, that I realize that life happens and everybody's got stuff to do. Uh, you know, I mean, I, that's what I say. I'm surprised that I've got y'all in here right now because I know I'm not on my normal time. And I I knew that I had told last week that I wouldn't be live tonight. But after that mess, after the fiasco happened uh, Saturday morning with the parade, I started panicking. I said, well, I'm going to go Tuesday for just a little bit and see if I can get a signal or not. Uh, John says gas went up 60 cents today. It, it's not went up here yet. Uh, and if it has went up, it's only went up 20 cents. But I hadn't seen no 60 cent jump. And Dry Creek says we had one that said welcome to our ool. Notice there is no P in it. Now that's a good one too, Rob Denise. Ours, ours, uh, the one that me and Virginia had that said we left the P out. I hope you will too, but that's a good one too. Uh, with, with what they're said. Says, Notice there's no P in it. <laughs> that's, that's a good one too. Hey, William Smith. Hey, buddy. I uh, say, just being spot, spontaneous, aren't you? Well, I got plans tonight, William. Uh, so that's why I'm, I didn't want to, I don't, I don't know how long I'm going to be tied up tonight. And I didn't want to wait too late to come tonight and and, and keep a lot of y'all up or, 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 or waking anybody up if their phones go off. I know mine doesn't make a noise when somebody goes live on YouTube. But I figured I'd just come because i got to be back at the campground at 7 o'clock. And I don't know how long I'm going to be tied up uh, as far as it, doing what I've got invited to do. Uh, so I came on, I came and got something to eat and just shot on over here to Fancy Golf and went live just to see if it's going to work or not since it didn't Saturday. Uh, John says gas went for $3.29 a gallon today to $3.79. Holy moly. And William goes, uh oh. And Ed says, you got 44 minutes. Yep, yep. I still got a little while. I mean, it only takes me from right here, counting traffic and the stoplights. I, you know, I'll give myself ten minutes to get back at seven o'clock. But I'm gonna take y'all along for the ride though on the way to the camper, uh, so you can see the hot rods that are here already. 
Uh, boys, I'm getting excited though. I hadn't seen it yet, and of course it, I, it probably don't roll in till tomorrow. So sometime or another, I got to venture out tomorrow evening and see if the uh, OF rolls in. And I know some of y'all are gonna know what the OF is. Not of, but OF. I know, I know Rob and Denise is gonna know what I'm talking about. I hope they're back this year. I wish they'd stay at my campground. Boy, that'd be something else. Of course, if they were staying at my campground, if they was to stay at my campground, I don't know if y'all boys, y'all uh, men and women would be seeing me out here live. Because I'd probably, I'd probably be staying at the campground. Well, that's loud. Uh, Linda says cruising with Jeff sounds good. Yep, Dry Creek. No, I told you, they knew what I was talking about. Only fans. Uh, hey, David C. Perkins saying hey to Tootsie. Uh, just got here myself, and uh, I'm caught up at the moment. Hey, yeah, Natalie says old farts. <laughs> well, that's mainly what's going to be at my campground uh, this weekend, but it's because it's the rod run. I mean, that's what's crazy. They're just going to be there to sleep because they're going to have all their cars out here and they're going to be all out here looking at cars. Uh, they won't be any kids. We won't have to worry about any children or anything like that this weekend. It's going to be all all us adults as far as at the campground. Uh, John says, I just checked on Gas Buddy. It was 329 yesterday and now it's 379 so that's a 50 cent jump. Good Lord. I'm glad they hadn't done that here yet. Uh, Erica says, what about the blow up woman? Yeah, I don't know if she'll be back or not. We'll just have, we'll have to wait and see on all this, Erica. I have no idea. I don't even know if the party crowd's gonna be here yet. This is where they'll be, right where y'all are looking. This is where the, they always stay next to this trash can because they'll, they'll fill it up. They'll fill that trash can up with all their beer cans and whatever else they bring. Uh, food, whatever. Uh, but this is where they all, this is where they've normally been sitting for the past few years. Uh, now whether they're here or not this, you know, this weekend, uh, we'll just have to we'll have to wait and find out Friday night and Saturday night. Boy, look at that! Hey, Rob, check that out. I think I remember that from the fall. I think. Uh, hey, Fred and Connie, uh, saying hey to Jeff and Tootsie. Just got home from work. Weather looks good. Hope your week's going. Oh, it is, Fred. I've been to the pool uh, today and yesterday, so I've, I've started tanning a little bit. Uh, and of course, I know you know the campground's been keeping me busy, and they got me busy again tonight, Fred. I have no idea if I'll be able to VR tonight or not. Uh, I've got to be at the campground at seven o'clock, and I don't know how long I'm going to be tied up. But I'll, uh, if I get freed up in time, I'll text you and let you know because I know. I know you're dying to fish, and I am. I am too, because I hadn't been on. Uh, but I'll let you know. Uh, Fred saying hey to everybody. Uh, Dry Creek says that's pretty neat. And Ed says hey. Fred saying hey, hey Jimmy, saying what's up, buddy. And I know Jimmy's getting excited. Jimmy Spencer's gonna be rolling in tomorrow. And Fred says that's fine. And everybody's saying hey to Jimmy and hey to Ed. So yeah, but it'll pretty much, I mean, I know it don't really start till Thursday, but tomorrow night though, this traffic will be crazy. Cause I know in the past, usually by Wednesday night, especially that right hand lane, it'll be crawling. And that's cause people's looking at the cars and I don't blame them. Uh, everybody saying hey to everybody. And that's the other reason I go live, so y'all can talk to each other and say hey to each other and catch up on gossip or catch up on how everybody's doing. Somebody's blowing a horn. I don't know who that was in that truck. I don't know if it was blowing a me or not. But I didn't recognize the vehicle. Uh, everybody's still saying hey to everybody. And, I, and that's what I say, I, I've been running around here the last couple of hours to where I at least have time to get out here and chat with you guys for a little bit. 
before I have to be back at the campground. My truck's having good. He got he got an engine. Uh, Erica's saying, hey y'all. Natalie says, anyone ever hear from Josh and Stacy? I hadn't, he was on my show last week. He he chatted for just a little bit, and I think the week before. Uh, but as far as videos or live shows, I hadn't seen anything yet. Uh, if I'm wrong, somebody let me know. But I, I don't think I have, because I know I'm subscribed to them. And I mean, and I get, I get the notifications. Sometimes they're not on time, but I do eventually get a notification. Uh, everybody's saying hey to everybody right now. Uh, uh, Linda says, Jeff, thanks for letting us all be in your family. Oh, you're welcome, Linda. Uh, Jimmy's saying, hey, Dry Creek says, talked with them about every night, Natalie. So there you go. So Robin and Nisa's uh, talking to them every night. They just haven't done any videos or live shows. I think. Uh, but I, that's what I say. I know he's been in my... He's talked with us in my live show the past couple of times. There goes a nice one. Hey, Rob, there goes a pretty one. Uh, they're definitely out riding around. A lot of them's out riding around. Here come some Broncos. They're on the other side of the street. There's some of the Broncos that are in town also, but they're, they're all in town. Uh, Nancy saying hi everyone. Looks like the cars are rolling in. Hope all goes well. Yeah, yeah, hey, Nancy, they they're definitely here. They're not all here yet, but there's, I'd say, uh, you know, and, and you can ask Rob and Denise. What do you think? They they's over half already here. I, I'm guessing they's over half already here. But by Thursday, they'll all be here by Thursday. The only reason I say that is because, I mean, that's when it starts. And, and that's when my campground is completely full, too. And let's see. Uh, Dark Creek saying hey. Jimmy saying hey. Dark Creek saying hey. Everybody's saying hey right now. Uh, Natalie's thinking Dry Creek for the info. Erica says it's warmer there than here. We're, we're way south, Tennessee. Yeah, uh, yeah, it's, it's still saying 86 right now uh, here, Erica. Uh, and then Rob and Denise is uh, saying you're welcome, Natalie. Jimmy says, Rob and Denise, are you doing okay? And Dark Creek says, hanging in there, Jimmy. Dad was took to the hospital last night. Uh-oh. Hey, uh, prayers for your uh, dad. And I'm assuming... Uh, that it's your dad, Denise. Is that right? Not Rob's dad, but your dad. Correct me if I'm wrong, though. So keep everybody keep uh, Denise's dad in y'all's uh, prayers. Hope everything goes good. Pam saying prayers. Okay, yes, yeah, she said yes, hers. That's what I I, I I thought I was right on that. There goes a pretty one coming. Was that a Bel Air across the street going by right there? I don't know how good y'all are being able to see it though, because the sun's the sun's in y'all's eyes now. Let me this crowd beside me left. Let me see if I can. Uh, uh, hold on, I got a I got a golf cart behind me right now, looking at this truck beside me. Uh, Linda's sending her prayers. Angie's sending her prayers. Uh, John says, hey, Jeff, what did you think about the reel that I put together yesterday with all the pictures of the cars with Hot Rod Lincoln playing in the background? I ain't got to see it yet, John. I looked for it actually this morning, and I didn't see it. I'm going to give me a second, guys. I'm going to adjust the car a little bit. I'm going to try to get y'all out of the direct sunlight. Uh... I'll look for it again, John. I I got on this morning and actually looked for it. So I'll go back and look again. Yeah, Natalie, she knew you meant Denise. We all missed time. You can ask Leslie that. 
between me and Leslie and everybody else will that darn autocorrect or whatever it is will get you every time. Uh, Erica says, thanks for the Blue Ridge. Uh, can it fix my brakes? <laughs> no, it won't be able to do that, Erica. <laughs> I apologize. I can't help you there. Not with that. Uh, Rob or Denise is thanking everybody. They performed a lung lavage again, and he's having trouble with it this time. I don't think they should be doing them anymore on him. Well, keep us updated, uh, Denise. And she says you're fine, Natalie. She knew who you meant. Lord, look going here, Rob. Look at that. Now that's new. That was different. I don't remember that. And I saw, I've seen another one. That's, uh, well, that one that went by earlier with the machine gun on top, at least I think that was a machine gun. I'm sure it's not a real machine gun, but a, a mock of a machine gun. I don't remember that. Uh, that right there's pretty that's going by right now uh, Fred says they've changed the chat on the on the phone. It keeps kicking me out of it. Huh? Really? And then Rob Denise says they don't remember that neither. Yeah, I, I didn't either And then Fred says panel van I hadn't, I hadn't had, I, I was on uh, Smoky Mountain Blesses live the other night and I didn't have any problem chatting with them and I know we got your show tomorrow night. Uh, of course, I'll be on the computer more than likely, I guess. Uh, it just depends on what happens tomorrow night. I, who knows with me right now, this, this week's a crazy week for me. <laughs> I'll thank sure try my best to play the trivia. Uh, but I haven't, I, I'm, that's crazy. YouTube needs to fix some of this stuff that's going on because I know some of you guys that, that are on these uh, other phones, they're not even allowing y'all to go horizontal. And I don't, I don't know if Dry Creek, Rob Denise is able to go horizontal yet or not. And that's the part that sucks. That's the part. That, I mean, it, if you're watching them on your phone, it, it, it's it's okay. It's somewhat okay, or it is okay. But if you're on a computer trying to watch, then you're looking at a half screen versus a full screen. Yeah, see, then she says, I hate our phones. Well, I'm hoping they get that mess fixed, Rob and Denise, because I know y'all are going to show this mess and all the excitement and stuff that's pretty pulling in right there uh and i know y'all are going to want to be able to go horizontal too so you can get the the full full view i mean that's shitty of youtube picking and choosing what phones can go uh horizontal versus vertical you know because they're forcing y'all to go vertical and that's that's bs that's bs that, that's not fair if they're going to do it to one, they need to do it to all. Like like that old uh, buddy of my dad's always said. Uh, fi uh, fair for one, fair for all. So, I mean, if they're going to force Rob and Denise and whoever else has got those top phones and force them to go vertical, then they ought to make us all have to do that. Not pick and choose. That, that's not fair. That's just, that's, that's wrong, YouTube, if you're listening, YouTube. Or the the all C&I or whatever the hell you want to call them on here. Uh, Leslie said she's out of training bed. Welcome back, Leslie. Uh, let's see, let me get back because there's where she said she, uh, uh, Fred says probably have to restart my phone. And Ed says, Fred, I'd like to have one of those old panel trucks, but in four wheel drive. And, dry, and there's where Dry Creek and then uh, Fred says, I've seen one turn into a monster van. And uh, yeah, I have two, uh, Fred. And Dry Creek says, I I'll tell it multiple times a day. Yeah. I, I mean, it, it's just that's, that's wrong that YouTube's doing that. Because I know it's YouTube doing it. It can't be y'all's phones. It's got to be something YouTube's done. Because, uh, I mean, I have to go in there and manually pick uh, ours on. 
You know, used to I didn't have to, but I definitely have to, when I set it up, I have to go in there and, and pick horizontally. Uh, wait a minute, it, hold on a minute. And then Ed says, Jeff, I thought the creator had the choice. They do. Mine, I have the choice. Mine's always gonna go vertical. But I have a, what to call a advanced options. And when I click on that, then I, ha I can choose vertical or horizontal. And so I always put horizontal, even though it tells me on my phone that vertical supposedly is the better view for everybody. And I don't see how. I don't understand that. I think it's like Jeff was saying, YouTube's trying to compete with TikTok. So anyhow, uh, let's see. Hold on a minute. And then uh, Fred says, I had that issue when I went live. At the yeah, yeah, that's right. Fred had the same problem, too. And Dry Creek says, they say it's supposed to help put you in the live feed when someone logs on YouTube. Okay. And, uh, yeah, who knows, Rob and Denise? Who, who the heck knows? But I, I know, I'm sure y'all would rather go horizontal versus vertical. Uh, Linda says, are you leaving? No, she she went to the tanning bed, Linda, and now she's out of the tanning bed. And Rob and Denise is going, yay, Leslie. And everybody's saying, hey, Leslie says, I'm back, Linda. I was gone for about 15 minutes. William says, is it YouTube or the type of phone? I have no issues with Android. I, I don't know. Uh, William, have you went live, though, on your phone with Android? Because everybody that I know that can't go horizontal is usually got an Android and and saying I've got an iPhone so it's still letting me go horizontal I have to pick it but I can still do horizontal but I know uh, I know Fred's on Android and I know Rob and niece is on Andro Android and all they can do is vertical you know which is BS they need to fix that mess at least give them the choice like I have you know I at least got you know the choice they need to give them the choice also uh, Leslie saying, hey, Linda says, Leslie, I get it now out of the tanning bed. And Rob D says, oh, it's our phones. We have trouble with them multiple things. I want an iPhone back. And Leslie's going, yep, Linda. And Thurston's saying, hey, Jimmy's saying, hey, Ed says, all I've got to say about that is I hate vertical. I love horizontal, especially on the, right. Because people, there's there's just as many people watching on a, on a computer and a TV versus their phones. Now I know if you watch on your phone, it'll fill up the screen. You're having to hold your phone vertical, but you'll get the full view, you know, as far as when somebody's live. But if you get on the computer or a TV, it's gonna be dead center and you're looking at a half a screen. And that just jumped on me. I'm, I'm trying to get caught up. Uh, Dry Creek says, we think that's what it is too. Uh, trying to compete, yeah, with TikTok. And Leslie says, I prefer horizontal. <laughs> Leslie, Leslie, it's too early, Leslie. It's not after 9 o'clock yet. <laughs> Leslie says, Jeff, can we see Tootsie before you? Oh, yeah. I'll, I won't get out. Y'all see Tootsie before I end the show. I don't end the show unless if something was to happen. I don't end the show without y'all getting to see Tootsie. Uh, Virginia says, I don't watch the verticals. And uh, Ed says, I watch on TV, but I chat on the phone. And I can understand that, Ed. And John says, is anybody riding that uh, pendulum ride? I see they changed 55 for that ride. So it's $55 now to do the pen. I don't know. I haven't seen anybody else. Only, of course, I haven't been paying attention, though, either. Uh, Linda says, Virginia, did you make hubby a birthday cake? And I know she fed him good. I do know that much, Linda, but I'll let Virginia answer that. Uh, Rob Denise says, see, people ride it all the time, John. And Virginia says, Linda, he wanted cherry pie. So he got a cherry pie. And she said, okay. I'm called up now at the moment. Let's see, what is it, about 20 or 7? I guess I could go ahead and start easing down the road here and show you all the cars. And then that way I can get down here I know the signal is going to go out once I get down here to the main intersection, but then I'll get it back, and then that's when I'll that way y'all can see Tootsie. So I'll go ahead and start easing that way. But now y'all, uh, 
David says, I can't go vertical. I can't go horizontal. I only go BS. <laughs> <laughs> David. Mm. That's pretty good. All right, so y'all bear with me. Y'all talk to each other. And if anybody new comes in, just let them know that I'm showing the hot rods. Man, hey, damn it. Here we go, boys. Here we go. There's <laughs> still burnt out. It's not even night time either. Uh, but y'all talk with each other. And just If somebody new comes in that I hadn't said hey to, just let them know it. I'll try to catch them right here when I tell y'all bye. John says YouTube just did an update today in Google Store. Okay. I did catch that. Ed saying, hey, go ahead, go ahead there. I'll let you out. Go ahead. Heck yeah, that way we can look at you. <laughs> See, right here's the rods. I mean, I'll try to turn the. And I'm just going to ease down through here. Fred says that explains my issues. I'm going to try to, because everybody else is driving slow too in this lane. So. There's two lanes to pass me, so I shouldn't get the horn blown at me. We'll just ease down through here where we can all look at the cars. At least on this side. I need to plug up my phone though, because it won't, well, I should be all right. Because I, I got to hop off here anyway. And it hadn't told me 10% yet, so. But it did warm me 20%. Did do that. But we'll be all right. Got, got some jacked up trucks right there. Look right there, boys. He had... He had a price on that one. There's there's a little bitty car in the back of that truck that says for sale. We'll see what all we'll see what we can see that's for sale on this side. <laughs> Cause I hadn't I hadn't been down this way yet since since all these have rolled in. I'm gonna try to venture out tomorrow night. I know I'm I know I'm coming out Thursday night with the golf cart to see them all. That's the, only, that's the only reason why I'm not going to be live Thursday night because I'm going I'm going to be with some, some camping buddies. Ed said something there, but he retracted it. I don't block the intersection because they will write you a ticket. They don't have them signs out yet. And Rob Denise knows what I'm talking about. I'd say they'll they'll probably put that out tomorrow, Rob Denise. I bet you the sign that says if you block the intersection, it's what is it, $166 or hell, it might be more than that now. I know it. I know it's a big fine if you block the intersection. the darn economies uh not the economy but the price inflation or whatever's up so i'm sure the the ticket price is gonna be up it wouldn't surprise me i know one time it's like 166 dollars if i remember right or 169 well they some pretty Pretty cars riding around over here on the other side. I'm trying to watch the chat a little bit too, plus look at the cars. I hadn't really seen anything that's got for sale signs on this side yet. Not that I've caught, at least. Because I'm, I'm looking with y'all. watching with y'all. 
there's something wrote on the side of that one, but I don't think it said for sale, though. They had something wrote on it. There's that darn Hearst. I remember that Hearst, and they've got it. Yeah, 6000 I think it was 6500 or 5500 so They had a price on it. How's the, how's the signal? I guess the chat's still working. I hadn't seen anybody say anything. I guess I'm still live. <laughs> okay, thank you, Leslie. I wasn't sure, because I know I'm getting up here where it normally cuts out. Well, thank you, Ed. There's one still covered up, so I guess we won't get to see that one till Thursday. They're, they're keeping that one a surprise till Thursday. It's got the cover on it. Right there's one's got a, something in the window. And this is it's pretty much a split right here. You really don't see a lot of hot rods right here at the Alcatraz or anything. And then sometimes right here at the Pirates, you won't see them here at the Pirates either because, I mean, there'll be a few, but they'll just be right here up at the front. Now there's, there's a couple right there on that next road. There's one with the hood up. And right here's one. I gotta get over. Cause I gotta turn up here. So at least at least y'all got to see a couple of the uh, hot rods, the rods, whatever you wanna call them. Oh, look, my phone My phone just said 10% uh, warning, so time that just right. We'll go in here. We'll go right here. And I'll tell y'all about because I know there's some right here at Publix. And then we'll tell y'all about from right here. Is the signal still okay right here? Because I know it's crazy right here at the end, at the main intersection. I like it right there. Let me fix the, that's nice right there. Let me get a parking spot. I'll kind of see if I can face towards some of these cars. Let's see if I can get away with it without blocking anybody. There we are. Hey, Gary. Gary with two R's, uh, come in. Uh, John says, Huron, if they catch you on your cell phone, or you drive 150, right, I'm not, I'm hands-free, so I'm good to go. It's it's mounted up here on the window. Yeah, because we're getting ready to, I know, Gary, uh, you'll go back and watch the replay, though, but I've got to be at the campground at 7 o'clock. Um, so let me flip it around here where y'all can see the star. Come here, come on, get up here. Get up here, so everybody, there you go, come on. Up up there, look right out here. Look out there, watch for the boogies. <laughs> I appreciate all y'all coming in and watching though. Hope everybody had fun. This week needs to slow down though a little bit. Cause I know we got big nights coming up. There's Larry with two R's, just came in. <laughs> hey Larry. Uh, so yeah, we got Thursday, or Friday and Saturday. We got. Probably look, uh, yeah, I already see your color on it. <laughs> yeah, I know it. I got, I got a little bit today. I got a little bit today. I'm catching you, Leslie. Everybody's saying, Larry! Look, she's pawing at me. She wants me to pet her. <laughs> but she's full. She's got a hard life. Uh, 
but yeah, thank thank you all for coming in. Hope everybody enjoyed it and stuff. Uh, but Friday night and Saturday night, got that to look forward to. Hopefully the weather will hold out. There's chances of rain, but it's not washouts or anything like that. Now Saturday night's supposed to be a little cool. Uh, Rob Denise, I don't know if y'all seen it yet or not. It, it ain't gonna be cold, but we'll definitely want to bring us a jacket. We'll definitely want to bring us a jacket for later on that night. Uh, like I said, hopefully the rain will cooperate with us as far as the nighttime shows. It can rain all it wants to during the day if it wants to do that. But we want our night times to be fun. Yeah, they said they saw that. Yeah. And I was like, man, why has it got to get, you know, it's been eight, it's going to be 80 degrees all week. And then Saturday night, it goes to 60 for the high so you know it's gonna get you know probably 50s or maybe even 40s that night who, who knows that's pretty coming in right well he's already went by or i'd have showed that right quick can't get it flipped around in time uh, but yeah i gotta head back to the campground i've got invited to do something tonight and i gotta be there in almost 10 minutes uh david says uh since he went live today can cancel my account so there you go david you don't have to worry about having any counseling then today. <laughs> Just be glad that I didn't get a signal Saturday and it forced me to come do this today. <laughs> Cause it did force me to come do this today. Other than that, I wouldn't have been live. Uh, you know, because that was the game plan. I wasn't gonna go live today I, cause I knew I was gonna be live Friday night, Saturday night. Hey, Doug and Tara says, sorry I missed most of this. Hey, no problem, Doug and Tara. No problem at all. Uh, got the replay if you want to watch it don't have to but if you want to it'll be up here in just a few seconds just you just won't be able to see the chat till tomorrow uh, other than that though I'll have it publicized you know as soon as I hopped off hop off here uh, everybody saying hey to Doug and Tara so but I guess me and Tootsie's gonna head back because I'll have to get her settled in too so I need need a few minutes to do that uh, but thank all y'all for coming in as always love each and every one of y'all hope everybody had fun hope everybody enjoyed it and we, well me me will see you Friday and Saturday night the star won't be with me she will be chilling in the camper them two nights are my night and I don't know how much chatting will be happening as far as where I'll be communicating with you guys but y'all know the reason why, because we're gonna try to watch for live action, burnouts, whatever. Guy yelling on the megaphone. Y'all know how it is. Y'all know what's getting ready to happen. <laughs> Love all y'all, and we'll see you Friday night. Lord willing, and the creek doesn't rise. Yeah, that's right, Ed. <laughs> that's right. Bye, everybody.